Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and tonight I am playing Windward, which is really a spiritual successor to the Sid Meier's Pirates series. If you've ever played Sid Meier's Pirates, or if you haven't played Sid Meier's Pirates, I guess I should say, you need to go out and play it, because that game is amazing. I played it when I was a kid, it was one of the first games I ever played on the first PC we ever had. I'm a little, probably a little bit older than some of the people watching my videos and Pirates was the thing back in the day and I used to play hours and hours of that game and this game seems like it's a lot like it so I'm probably destined to love it the coolest part about Pirates was that in many ways it was the first RPG on computers well not the first RPG I'm not gonna say that it was the first game that was like not an RPG but it was an RPG and had RPG elements you basically leveled up your captain and the coolest thing was retiring at the end of the game and seeing how successful your pirate had become you know was he did he become a governor did he become you know a bum on the street or, or whatever and it was just neat to see kind of what you had accomplished and that was probably one of the first games I found myself trying to exploit like trying to win the sword fights and all that sort of stuff I don't think there's sword fights in this game at least not yet um, but what I want to do, so first thing you do is kind of like in Pirates, you pick a faction that you want to be a part of. So there's four factions you can choose from. There's the Sojourn, there's the Consulate, the Exchange, and the Valiant. And you can't pick, I think it requires, yeah, it requires a certain level to start. Um, to actually, you have to actually pick a faction if you're level zero. So. What we're gonna do is the valid. Let's see. The consulate is more of a diplomacy kind of group, so they find themselves negotiating out of conflicts. Um, they gain experience from questing and get a discount when buying the brig of war. Um, exchange ships are more about trade. Obviously, it makes sense. They're the exchange. They gain extra experience from trading and get a discount when buying the galleon. And then you get the valiant, which is kind of a fighting, tanking kind of group extra experience from combat and discount when buying the ship of the line and then you got the sojourn which is basically the explorers so they gain experience from discovering new towns I kind of like this one the best because it's travel and exploration so I think we're gonna try this one first so yeah they're kind of glass cannons built for speed and their weapons have fantastic accuracy at the expense of just about everything else so I mean, leaning towards that or the combat-oriented ones, but let us go with the Sojourn. Okay, I had a bit of a crash when I started the game. It may have been actually DX Story conflicting with the game, I believe. Look, cereal snacks with a little American flag. I don't know why it's got an American flag. I didn't really think I was an American ship. Um, so that's interesting. Maybe because it knows where I'm from. That's that's creepy, creepy. Okay. So, some of the cool things about this that I've discovered so far. We've got a little map, right? And we are here, and I can't read the name of this city, Brettenburg. And there's these other cities you can sail to. One of the things I really liked about Pirates was that it was actually in the Caribbean, so it was actually recognizable locations like Port Royal and all that, but that's okay. Brettenburg's fine. It's kind of a snowy environment. Let's take a look here. Now, we're explorers, so we don't get as much from questing, um, but that's okay so we have a sloop and we can get a sloop of war for 1998 I've got 110 that's not a whole lot oh yeah you can talk you can get rumors oh, this is pretty sweet okay Brettenberg has a stockpile of crafts which is needed in Lishfer. okay so we could potentially buy uh, is there stuff called crafts here I love this UI too look at that look how it pops in I'm kind of a UI guy I don't know if you've captured that yet but this is a good this is well done I like it so far fits the game um, is this my this is the mark oh crafts so I could buy some but I, I can't because it's I only have a hundred thing let us grab a quest um, we need to do a lot of exploring let's see if we can do this one the town's cartographer is trying to complete a map of the nearby towns but he doesn't seem to be certain where the town of Molefort is located. He's offering a bounty to any captain willing to discover it for him. What say you, captain? Do you feel like exploring for a bit? Uh, let's do it. Oh, so some of you might wonder why this isn't a Subnautica video today, those of you who've gotten this far in the video. 
because Subnautica, my experimental game, is completely wrecked. Uh, there's not even a sky anymore. Um, so hopefully they'll fix that up and then we can get back to that. But anyway, let us... Let me put the map up. Um, so I don't have... Oh! Haha! <laughs> Cheaters. It tells me exactly where it is. So let's go to Molefort. Now, should I get other quests? Pick up cargo. Oh! Deliver cargo to Molefort. We're going there anyway. There seems to be some shipment here at the dock destined for Molefort, yet no ship to take it. Um, okay, let's get some free loot. Alright. And where is Ashvir? Maybe that's going to be in our way, too. Ashvir is on the way, so let us... Um... What do we have to do with this one, though? We have to bring it back. If a round trip is not too much of a hassle, well, I don't know if I'm going to come back. Well, you know what? Let's just pick... Let's get it. Oh, we don't have any cargo space. Good. I don't, I don't want it anyway. <laughs> All right. So I think because we're in this, like, blue area at first, we're kind of in a safe spot. So we're not going to get attacked by, like, pirates and that sort of stuff. It's, it, at, at this early on in the game... It's kind of nice because you're not dealing with that sort of stuff. Now, one thing... Oh, yeah. Here's another thing you can do. I don't know if I can come to a stop. Yeah. You can send your guys off the ship to look for treasure. It costs you a treasure, but you may find stuff. So we've got five experience and some wood. I'll take that. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's like floating loot. Okay, let's get it. Roop. So when you get wood, one thing I've learned is that when you collect wood, you can actually... Oh, and I needed that money. When you collect wood, you can repair your ship while on the sea if you have any damage to your ship. So that is awesome. Let's get this one down here. There's another another sojourn ship. Oh, it disappeared before I could get to it. So I send another guy overboard? Let's do it. Why not? Oh, good. Six gold, six XP. I'll take it. I'm kind of curious... While we're sailing... Oh, look, XP 49 out of 50. So we're almost actually leveling up, which is really nice. Look at the dolphins. This game... I think this game is made by one person, I think. It costs $12 on Steam. Um, part of the reason I got it was, well, two, two, twofold. I wanted to play the game because it reminded me of Pirates. The second reason is I love these indie developers and... You know, this game is considered complete, I think. It's not an early access game. But 12 bucks, I mean, I, I probably, most most people can't afford to just buy a game that they haven't heard about for 12 bucks, but I'm willing to play it for you guys. And if you like it, you know, pick it up. Um, support those little developers. If you have the money, if you don't, don't pick it up. Wait till it goes real cheap. Uh, you never know, maybe someday it'll be like a dollar. Uh, and then it's, you can decide whether or not you want to buy a soda or or buy this game. So, in the meantime, it's a lot of fun. The other thing... Oh, I discovered leash fur. Okay, I can send people overboard, but I think for the time being, is this... Let's look at the map, because I think I'm going way too far to the south. Where am I? Oh, yeah! We're almost there already. That wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. So, I kind of want to send a guy overboard to get the experience. I'm not 100% sure yet. I love that it shows my name. Oh, commission complete. Oh, look at all this. Look at all. Oh my god, we're just. Welcome, Captain. Reputation lowers prices, improves both number and quality of rumors in towns. Okay, we could ferry passengers and we could deliver cargo to a seeker mill. Um, but let's see what else they've got here. So, we've got 253 gold now. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what the rumors are. Buying coal from Mulford is bound to earn a profit when sold at Seeker Mill. And we've got to go to Seeker Mill anyway. Um, so we may need to buy some coal. Let's look. Do they sell coal? Coal. Oh, here we go. Um, the price is 0% better due to your skill and diplomacy and reputation with subject. Coal can be exported to Craden Ridge. Okay. Uh, should I take the risk and buy it? Why not? Bought a shipment of coal for 220 gold. Awesome. And let's deliver some cargo. There seems to be some shipment here at the dock destined for Seeker Mill, yet no ship has taken it there. Okay, so we need to do that. We're going to take it to Seeker Mill. And then let's ferry some passengers to Ash Bear. Fancy suits. They claim to be some important negotiators in a matter of utmost importance. Something about saving the world or other some such nonsense. Cool. It's like we're taking uh, Luke and Obi-Wan, right? 
Just gotta avoid any Imperial entanglements and we'll be good. Let's look at our talents. So we've leveled up and I'm almost up, up like another level. Um, so what can we do? Reinforced Hall. See, the breadth of this game already is, is amazing to me. This is, this is crazy. Um, okay, let's read, let's read from the, from the right over. Countless studies have proven without a sliver of a doubt that a mug full of grod works wonders. So we could do diplomacy. Train the gummer crew to aim. Uh, improve the ship's steering wheel. 20, 15% mobility. Okay. But increasing damage. Amount of damage I can endure. So this is kind of, these might be good because our because we're in the sojourn, so our ships are going to be fast and nimble, not very well defended. So it might be good to reinforce them. So let's reinforce our sails. All right. Cool. So I'm trying to think what quests I have. Because I have not been paying attention. I know I had, um, where can I see, I guess I can't see quests. All right, we'll figure that out in a minute. I know that I have to go to Seeker Mill. Oh, as I'm sailing right into the, the shore. Let's see, what is this up here? That is settings. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I think we just, oh my god, our ship's on fire. Uh oh. Uh, I think because I crashed. And you know what? I actually think it's free to repair in the city. That's okay. That's okay. That's alright. That's okay. Oh, here's my quest, <laughs> right in front of my face. Deliver cargo to Seeker Mill, so let's go there. But I think they said that the coal, I can sell at Ashbeer. So let's go to Ashbeer and sell our coal. Pick up as much as we can. Ooh, gunmetal cannons. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, equip items that open your inventory. Oh, we got new cannons. And looks like they're better. Well, they're not as much piercing, but they're better in every other respect. So what else can we do? Can we equip it? Well, you must dock the ship in a nearby town. Okay. So to equip our guns, we're going to have to dock. That's fine. All right, let's head over here. Yeah, see, I love the, I love these typing. I don't know why. Something about it. It takes me back to pirates. It really does. Okay, Seeker Mill, we're coming, but let's stop at Ashbeer first, because I think, I think, and I'm, those of you watching the video, I'm either really, really wrong or really, really right. Let's find out. Um, I can sell cargo. How can I sell? Sell. These guys don't need it. Ah, oh, I wish I could go back in time. A nearby town has been captured by pirates. Until you capture it back, this foul cesspool of corruption will keep sending out new pirate ships to harass everyone in the region. Find it, Captain. Wipe out the scourge. And we'll get 250 gold for that. Um, I don't know which town it... Oh, it must be this town down here. Hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, I know there's a town where I need to... Where was it? Let me look at the map again. Um, blah, I don't know. Okay, let's just go to Seeker Mill and then we'll head towards that city that's been taken over by pirates. Cannot believe I forgot which town needed coal. <laughs> Epic fail. Epic fail cereal snacks. But that's okay, because we have a bird on our ship sails, see? So that makes it all better. At least we're fancy, we're fancy pirates. That's all that matters, that's all that matters. Okay, yeah, okay, I can drop my anchor with a space bar. I kinda think this would be incredibly epic multiplayer. And I might try that actually, apparently I can like set this up so that it's open to the public or I can just open it up to my friends on Steam. Um, either way, it might be a lot of fun to prove that I have what it takes to be a pirate. Oh, let's get this one. So much loot just lying around in the ocean. Okay. 
And I could keep diving, but yeah. All right. I think we're gonna get in some combat here. So this is either gonna make or break us. Now can I? One thing I don't know is any of the controls in battle, although I'm assuming. So V is volley. Can I like volley the city? Capture the target by remaining in the circle while the progress indicator fills up. Oh, this is easy. That's it? The town isn't even gonna shell me? Oh, come to a stop. Come to a stop. Are we good? Are we gonna get 250 gold just by sitting here? Thank you. What if I do? Oh, he's gonna get it? Oh, no, 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 no. I wanna get the credit. Oh, he did. Okay, good. Whew. Commission complete. Cool. Now, is this the dude? Oh, I can I can buy a captain. So right now, okay. Right now I have a captain that is kind of diplomatic, but not great. It's aspiring captain. This is an experienced captain. Interesting. Oh! Oh, he's in my inventory. I got him. <laughs> okay, let's equip him. Cool, now I wonder if I can sell this captain. That's kind of weird, but uh, that makes sense, I guess. Items. Um, right click. Oh no, I don't want to buy them. I want to... Wait a minute. I want to equip this dude. Oh no. I want to equip this dude. And this dude I want to sell. Hmm. Sealed crates. Shipment of coal loaded in Molfort. Information. Find a town that has a demand for coal. Alright. <clears throat> I guess I can put stuff in the vault. I guess we can put this in the vault for now. The captain and the... Put the captain in the vault. Just lock him in there. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can do this. Cargo to leash fur. We'll take that. And then we can also... Oh, no. Did I not have room? Oh, I don't have room. Okay, so we'll decline that. But we can hunt down this pirate. Henrir. Roaming the open waters near Portnover. Okay. Let's get him. No available cargo space. Track. Okay, let's just go to Seeker Mill. Because I have no idea. I think there is that pirate around here somewhere. I'd like to get into ship combat. It might not happen right away. Maybe that's a good thing because they'd probably get just annihilated. We are the exploring pirates for now. Um, let's see. Where's Seeker Mill on our map? Uh, it's right on the other side of this island thingy. So let's go around this island thingy. Oh yeah, that guy's got like four stars. Oh, I wonder... Oh yeah, okay, I have another talent point. Let's keep doing the reinforcement stuff. Keep reinforcing our sails, because I'm guessing we're going to need it if, we, if and when we get into combat. Probably shouldn't be a pirate if the waves are making you sick there. Arg. Alright. Let's go around. Let's turn in this quest. And I think what I'm going to do is end this episode for now. I hope you guys are enjoying this game because I'm loving it. I love these type of games for some reason. I don't know why. And, oh, commission complete. Okay, now do these guys need coal? Come on, tell me you guys need coal. You need coal? I could sell... You're 1% worse. <laughs> um, oh, it has a shortage of coal. Okay, I think I paid 220 for it, and they're going to give me 252 Boom! All right, net profit of 32 gold. See, that's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Um, so they've got some more quests. I'm going to hold off on that for now, and I don't know if I can just, like, save it or what, but... I'm going to stop the episode here, and I will see you guys next time. I may or may not play more of this. I'd like to see what you guys think about it, how many likes you guys put on it, just to see if it's a game you'd like to see more of. I'd love to play more of it for you, so um, there's that. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.